where to use interaction diagram. So let us discuss on this aspect. We have already discussed that interaction diagrams are used to describe the dynamic nature of a system. Now we will look into the practical scenarios where these diagrams are getting used. To understand the practical application, we need to understand the basic nature of sequence and collaboration diagrams. We know that sequence and collaboration diagrams, they are actually describing how the objects are interacting between each other and how these objects are passing messages and receiving messages from one to another. So that is the basic thing. In case of sequence diagram, we are also mentioning or we are also describing that in which sequence these messages will be sent and in which order they are going to be sent and going to be received. In case of in case of collaboration diagram, we are describing that what are the message numbers which will be sent between multiple different uh, objects and who is receiving and who is sending. So to some extent, this sequence diagram and collaboration diagrams are the same, uh, but they are having different angle in the system representation. The main purpose of both the diagrams are similar as they are used to capture the dynamic behavior of a system. However, the specific purpose is more important to clarify and also to understand. So, sequence diagrams are used to capture the order of message flowing from one object to another. On the other hand, collaboration diagrams are used to describe the structural organization of the objects taking part in the interaction. A single diagram is not sufficient to describe the dynamic aspect of the enter system. So, a set of diagrams are used to capture it as a whole. That means, a real life project may have multiple sequence diagrams and collaboration diagrams. Whenever you are having one situation where multiple objects are interacting between each other passing uh, messages, then I can draw one sequence diagram for that. For another purpose, I can draw another sequence diagram for the better understanding. So, hundreds of sequence diagrams and collaboration diagrams may be existing for the same project. Interaction diagrams are used when we want to understand the message flow and the structural organization. Message flow means the sequence of control flow from one object to another object. We got the idea in the last video that messages are nothing but the methods to be called. And structural organization means the visual organization of the elements in a system. So, whenever something is dynamic, it is more easy to understand and it is more purposeful. So, that is why these interaction diagrams are one of the very important diagrams in, in our UML. So, interaction diagrams can be used to model the flow of control by time sequence, to model the flow of control by structural organizations. Here we will be using the collaboration diagram and for, for the forward engineering, when from model to the software development will take place and for the reverse engineering when the from the developed softwares we are trying to get back to the model. So, these are the different cases where you can use this interaction diagram. Thanks for watching this video.